Zell Boy Army. Welcome to our third video of the day. In this video, we're looking at the best value players in FIFA 21 right now. There's going to be a whole host of players in this video. I'm going all the way from players worth a few grand, a few thousand coins, to all the way to one player worth 400,000 coins. Just because players cost more than 100k doesn't mean they're great value. Every card in this video, in my opinion, is stupidly cheap for how good they are. All the players in the video are going to be ones that are good enough to use. And I wanted to give you a variety for people with different coin balances. If you like this type of content, please subscribe right now. Every day, new videos helping you guys improve at the game. You need to subscribe now. This is the place to be for spicy content. We're starting with Serie A. I'm going to look at 11 players who are great value in each major league. So you're getting a whole bunch of options, no matter what team you're using. So starting here, Perisic. We've got Perisic here. He's so cheap, he's a few grand. He's four star, five star. He's not rapid, but as an option with the weak foot and a decent all-round card, to begin with, he'll be very good for you. Manolas, one of the best value centre-backs in the game. He's under 20 grand. He's not the best on the ball, especially with that weak foot, but if you're just a bit careful with him, he's rapid. Got very good defending, solid physicals. He'll be very good value at the start. <clears throat> Nine Golan. He's around 15,000 coins. Very good links being Belgian in the Milan. Um, and he's just very solid all round. He's not an insane card anymore because he's lost a bit of the pace and physical. But um, he's still very good. <clears throat> Lutero Martinez, one of the best value cheap strikers in the game. Has a bit of everything. There's not really a major weakness on this card. Um a few in forms and it becomes a really elite card. Milinkovic Savic, so cheap. Like I think he was like six or seven thousand coins. Which at that point, there's quite going to be quite a lot of cards on this list that you can buy, and you'll never lose coins on them because they're so cheap that when we get SBCs, they'll rise anyway. Donnarumma, he always plays really good on the game. He's six five and has crazy diving and reflexes, so it makes him a really good card for his level. Chesney. Um, he's stupidly cheap. Links to Juve players. I mean, to be fair, we don't have a great Juve centre back. De Ligt's good, but at the moment, not the best. In my Bile, a lot of people look at him and probably not realise how good he is. At 84 pace, that is getting on to the quicker side of things. Pretty good at dribbling for someone who's 6 1 and got the rest of it. And one of the best finishers in the game. Like 93 finishing at the moment on day one is insane. Handanovic, he's like 15, 16k. He's at the point where you could buy 20 of him and in two months' time you'll make double that back. As a cheap option to have in net for now, he is a bargain. Koulibaly is probably a top five non icon centre back. Bit clunky with that agility and balance, but he's got an okay weak foot. He's pretty quick, like 75 pace puts him as one of the quicker elite centre backs. And he's got very good defending and one of the highest strength stats in the game. So he's going to be amazing early on. And then Paolo Dybala. I've actually packed this guy four times this year. Three times on this account. And then I packed him today on my PS4 Road to Glory. Um, he looks very good. Um, the weak foot hurts him a bit, but weak foot's not as big this year. Otherwise, if weak foot was like last year, I wouldn't include him. But I think he's going to be very usable at Cam or Ram. He's going to be a great card. He's one of the best dribblers in the game. Got okay stamina, solid shot. Uh, yeah, he has both the big shooting um, traits and finesse shot and outside the foot shot. And he's like 100 grand. At that price, you can't really go wrong with Paolo. And he links you to Argentinians and CR7. Okay, in this league, there was not as many players. Like, the French league was a bit limited. It's got a decent start in 11, but um, the best players, obviously, Neymar and Mbappe. Not very cheap. Um, I had a few like these guys who they're just decent cheap attackers are all a thousand coins if you're using a start squad any of these will be pretty good at the beginning but none of them are particularly special when we get to pretty good players that a lot of people could use Florenzi really good he's a triple link to variety if either of them get good cards this year could help out a lot Florenzi just for years has just been all round solid card good at everything Ronaldo Sanchez last time I looked he was 70k which for that card isn't that bad and he will drop he's going to drop to probably 40k maybe less i don't know because so many packs at launch but he has everything you want in midfield four star four star he's really quick for midfield he can pass decent shot 
good on the ball, great physical. He's just a beast early on. He's nearly in the Hullet gang, and by that I mean 80-plus on every card stat. At the beginning, for his price, that is great. But now, he's not an elite fullback on the game because he's a bit slow and not got the strength. But as a PSG link, and if you stick a shadow on him, fixes the pace a lot. He's like two grand. And at one point, he'll go up in price anyway from the SBCs. Depay actually packed him today. I'm surprised to see how cheap he was. 30k. I feel like Depay has been done a bit dirty on his pace. But he's just a very good, well-rounded card. He's a decent dribbler. Got a very good physical. Can pass. Great shot. And he's quick. Like He's got a bit of everything. Has the outside the foot shot trait, which is nice. Um, and being Dutch can link to quite a few players. Verratti, he doesn't look amazing on FIFA. And he never plays too great. The four-star, four-star is nice. But as a CDM early on, he's a bit slow. But he's great on the ball, can pass. Decent defending, great aggression. And he's like seven grand. At some point, he'll be worth 20 grand in the SBCs. And then Kayla Navas, best keeper in the league. Again, he's not great generally on FIFA because he's a bit small. But if you pay 11 grand for him, what he is now, he'll be 25, 30 grand when we get SBCs. So that is the French League. A bit worse than some of the other ones, but still some decent players in there. Okay, the league has quite a mix of players. It's a bit of a strange league. Don't really know how to explain it, but yeah, it's a bit different to the other leagues. And Naki Williams, on another game, pretty useless. But on this game, where weak foot's not as big a deal, you get more space so you don't get punished by the weak foot. He feels a lot better. He is insanely fast. Very strong for someone that fast. Okay shooting. Decent on the ball for someone who's that fast and tall. Um, he has the outside the foot shot trailer. Like this and Naki Williams card is a beast early on. I've used him and really liked him. Usman Dembele, you're probably saying, oh, he's not cheap. He's a 70k, 60k, 83 red card. He is worth it. Great links being French, Barcelona, La Liga. He's rapid, can dribble. Okay shot and pass. Fix that with a dead eye. And he's 5 star, 5 star. There's hardly any 5 star, 5 star players in the game. So Usman is a beast for his price. Diego Carlos. Unfortunately, you pay a bit of a premium in La Liga and Premier League. Even more Premier League. But Diego Carlos for a 40k Brazilian centre back is very good early on. The weak foot's really nice. Um, it's just very solid. He has a bit of everything you want on FIFA. Game a few informs and becomes one of the top centre backs. Iago Aspas. The four-star weak foot he's got this year make him much better. He's got the agility, got high finishing, like 89 is really good early on. Both the shooting traits. As a cam, I think early on as a cam, he's going to be really useful and will surprise people. He's better than most people would reckon. De Jong, not too cheap, but a very well-rounded card. Other than shooting, which is a bit meh, he's pretty good at everything. Got the skill moves, he'd be a very good CDM. His passing's fantastic. He's good on the ball, decent physically. Like, he's just a very well-rounded CDM at the start, and he's not that expensive for how good he is. Um, Lengler, similar to De Jong, he's not insane, but for his price, the links he has, he's very good still. And that night defending awareness is a really nice stat. Same last year, just an absolute beast with that defending awareness. And at the start, when people are struggling, because it seems hard to defend, Lengler will be a beast. Alba, he's like 25k last time I looked. Still really quick, great on the ball. Better physically, I feel, than he used to be. And solid enough passing, can actually finish quite well for a fullback too. But that price, going to be really good. Hazard, he's 150k, which doesn't sound cheap. But when you look at it, four star, four star, very quick, really solid shoe. And I feel like they've done him a bit dirty on the shoe, but still good. He has both the shooting traits. High passing, one of the best dribblers in the game. Okay strength for someone with that dribbling pace. He is a bargain, and I feel like he's a player that people shouldn't be ignoring. Uh, Casemiro, he's 25k, a bit slow, but at the start will be a good CDM still, and he will probably double in price to about 50k when we get SBCs. Uh, to Stegen and Oblak are our last two. Just 40k for the best keepers in the game with um, Allison. Can't really go wrong. They will rise a lot in when SBCs come out. So you won't lose coins on them. And he may as well have a top keeper. Because the bad keepers really are pretty bad this year. So I'd definitely be trusting one of these two. Rashika in the Bundesliga. A bit of a cheap beast. A thousand coins. Four star, four star. Quick. Um, his shot's not bad for someone who's this quick. 
Um, he's got great dribbling, okay aggression strength combination. Um, he'll be a handful and even a decent impact sub if you need someone cheap. Emre Chan. I don't get why this guy's so cheap. He was 20k at one point and I chose to hold his card thinking this guy's going to rise. He's amazing. He's like 10k now. And I, I don't get it. Like Emre Chan's not got the quickest acceleration but sprint speed's fantastic. He could shoot. He's got four star weak foot. His passing's okay. He's not awful on the ball. And he's got really high defending physical and got lots of great links. Like, I don't get why he's that cheap. Lucas Hernandez is a similar card to Diego Carlos, just you know, quite a bit weaker. But he's like four times cheaper and got even better links being French and Bayern Munich. Boateng, not an insane card, but he's got four star weak foot, great strength, okay on the ball, and he's a thousand, two thousand coins. Like, you can't go wrong with him. Zakaria, one of the most OP players in the game right now. At like 15 to 20k. This guy's insane. He's got okay weak foot for a CDM. Um, he's rapid. Great physical. He's just a bargain. Coleman, I saw his price. It was like 15 to 20k for a French Bundesliga Bayern Munich midfielder. Like, it's just crazy. Rapid, one of the fastest players in the game. Can dribble. Got an okay shot. His weak foot lets him down. But, like, even if, like, you, you, how do I explain it? Even if you don't have an insane budget, you can stick someone like him in with that much pace, and he's going to cause issues even without the weak foot. Off the bench, he will be unreal. Um, Sule, I never know what to think of him. Like, his strength's insane. Um, his stamina's a bit meh. But he has great defending and crazy sprint speed. That sprint speed, if you switch to him in time, he will be able to deal with most fast players on the game you just have to be careful to switch in time Goretzka he's not cheap at the moment but he's one of the best midfielders who's not an icon in the game the weak foot's great um, got decent pace very nice physicals can defend like he's just good at everything which suits FIFA Nabry I don't know what they were doing with his sprint speed like I don't get why they nerfed it so hard um, the 4 star 4 star's nice the fact that he lost the sprint speed hurts the card but it's also hurt the price. The price is a lot cheaper. So due to that, I think you get decent value for him. He can shoot. Fantastic dribbler. And Bayern Munich German, he's going to be easy to link in. Sommer, he's like 6k. If you can't afford Neuer, then Sommer at that price is going to do well. He's a bit small at 6 foot. The weak foot's nice, which will make his passing better. And at that price, he'll make coins when SBCs come out. Uh, Sancho... I thought, oh, Sancho's going to be too much. And then I looked, he's like 40k. He's a bit like Nabry in the sense of they've hurt his pace. And the weak foot's not great, but he's not that slow. His shooting's okay, but not unreal. But then his passing's fantastic. And so Cam, he'll be a great playmaker. And he's one of the best dribblers in the game. There's not many cards without good dribbling. So that is the Bundesliga. We are in the league. Everyone adores the Premier League. Some very, very good value players in this league. Surprised me. Like, there's some expensive players in this league. But considering how good some of the players are in this league, some good value players. Like, William was like two or three grand bargain early on. Oops, skipping ahead. Four star, four star. A bit slow, but at Cam, you can basically change him to be how you want. You can put a hunter to make him quicker. You can put a dead eye to make him better at shooting and passing. Engine to make him a really good dribbler. Like, he's very good early on. Rodrigo. The weak foot doesn't hurt him as much this year. Last year he'd have been pretty unusable. But with that weak foot on this game, you can still score on the right foot. He's really quick. Got a good finish on it. If you put a hunter on him, he'll have 99 pace and 90 finishing, which early on is going to burn people. Pepe, the weak foot does hurt him. But he can dribble really well. He's quick. Okay at passing and shooting. And he's really not expensive. He's under 10k. Um... Lacelso, a few grand. Just a well rounded card. He's stronger than people would think. Decent pace. There's not really anything he's that bad at. The weak foot hurts him a bit, but um, just a very well rounded card again. Kavazic, one of my favourite players I've used this year. I used him in draft. He's like six grand and four star, four star. Fairly fast for a midfielder. He shot a lot better than I expected for someone with that finishing. Great on the ball. 90 short pass. Good physically. Okay defending. Surprised me, he's insane value. Uh, Nelson Semedo, B 
People say it's 35, 40 grand for a right back. Don't care. He's one of the best right backs in the game. He's probably a top five right back at the moment, um, including icons. If you don't include like the baby and middle versions of cards, but um, he's the best fullback in the prem, in my opinion. And he's just insane to play in game. Really like him. And Diddy, crazy cheap for how good he is. Not going to do a lot going forward. But if you just want a top CDM, he's just going to hold the fort. Um, protect your defence. Will fridge your man. <coughs> Ricardo Pereira. Not quite as good as Semedo, but he's about 15 grand. When SBCs come out, he'll go up in price from that because he's a right back. And SBCs, like, it's not easy to fit full backs into them. He's got the weak foot. He's okay at pace. Um, he's got good physical. Like, there isn't really anything he's bad at. Son, 250k for this card, considering the links he has. He's got four-star skills, five-star weak foot. It's a reasonable price. He's not really got anything he's that bad at. Physically, he could do a bit more, but he can dribble. His passing's fine. He's really quick. He's got really good shooting with that weak foot. Um, finesse shot tray. Uh, I really like Son. I think he's definitely worth the coins at the moment. Edison for 40 grand and he's really fast by the way with for someone with that kicking so it makes him a lot better um, I like Edison a lot he plays well in game 40 grand he'll go up probably a little bit maybe I think and he's going to link you to lots of Prem players and then the most expensive player on the list by a mile but one of the single best players I've used this year he feels like Mbappe at a third of the price easy to link into Liverpool players Premier League ridiculous pace at 94 very good shot four star four star can pass way better on the ball than i expected like 93 agility 86 bounce 91 dribbling's amazing um he's got really good physicals for someone with those stats mane plays insane in game feels so fast with him at 400k you have one of the very best non-icon players in the whole game boys hope this video has helped you hope you've learned some new players that you can add to your team if there's anyone you think I've missed out, please let me know. If you've been using any of these players and you agree, please let me know. Hope you enjoyed this content. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you boys tomorrow. Have a great evening.